Hi everyone, my name is Rajasekhar. Welcome to my channel. This video is about the latest version Unreal Engine 5.1.1 and anyone who tried using my DMX previous map project file along with the Camsys uh, show file which I've shared you and if you had any problem in triggering lights from Camsys, these are the areas which you need to look out for. I'm putting a link on the screen which is about the previous map file along with Camsys show file, how to load them. I'm also sharing the link to my complete DMX tutorial playlist both on the screen as well as in the description. The moment you load the previous map in this latest version, the screen looks completely blown out. It's too bright. Let's try to fix that by going to Outliner and search for Post Process, Details tab and let's search for EV and set the minimum and maximum to 2. That's step number 1 but it still doesn't help that much and let's open Camsys you can see the pre-program uh, faders look for strobe and play that strobe and turn it off so you can immediately notice the scene uh, looks better now that takes care of our uh, blown out screen let's maximize Unreal Engine and now I'm going to show you a few areas which you need to check in Unreal Engine and make sure they are enabled by default they are enabled in the event while learning if you accidentally turn them off or if you change some settings in the DMX make sure the send and receive is having a tick mark that's point number one this is important for Unreal Engine to communicate and receive signals for DMX go to edit project settings in the project settings go all the way down DMX and make sure your input and output ports are enabled and the external universe start for both is zero and it's on artnet and the IP address is zero as well if you're going to use my project file all these settings will be configured by default now the third let's get inside the DMX library let's open the DMX library in the DMX library let's go to fixture types in the fixture types what I noticed is in the latest version it puts an exclamation mark in all these functions which does not have a value so I'm referring to the spot group I was seeing exclamation mark in these uh, particular select a value so wherever I had select a value there was an exclamation mark and this had a message like null or no value specified and if you notice anything like that immediately change this to select a value make sure you're exploring all the groups of spot and wash as well and make sure there are no exclamation mark this is important if this is not fixed the lights will not trigger from Camsys. Save the progress as soon as you fix that. Now, people who are new to DMX, you need to understand that what I was seeing on screen is functions of a DMX light. And this is for the manufacturer, Clay Packy. The order of this function, color shutter, differs from a manufacturer to manufacturer. So how do you get to know about these modes? You can either get to know about this from online sources or from the Camsys program itself. I'll be sharing your snap link in the description which will give you modes for lights which I've used in this project also steps to find light modes in Camsys and for information the order of function needs to be exactly maintained in Unreal Engine as well as in Camsys for it to work this is very important there are functions which you might not be able to choose in Unreal Engine as shown in in the functions list of a light in those uh, cases what you need to do if you don't see a function you still maintain the flow for example I have first four functions I don't have five six seven in Unreal what do you do uh, you just add a function and choose select a value similarly for seven I have eighth function frost eight to nine eight to ten is there but eleven is not there I add a function for eleven and choose select a value so let's close this out so these are the areas which you need to look in Unreal Engine let's get back to Camsys again and in Camsys if you have installed this for the first time it's very important that you go to setup view DMX IO and make sure all the universes are enabled in a freshly installed Camsys program you will only have one or two universe enabled you need to make sure you enable all the universes for Camsys to trigger lights in Unreal Engine because I programmed 16 universes for you so that's about Camsys once these settings in Unreal Engine and Camsys is looked into I'm 100% sure the lights will trigger if you have any other concerns you can get in touch with me through the comments so let's quickly trigger some lights and see if they're working from the previous version of Unreal Engine you no longer need to press the play button on Unreal Engine for the DMX lights to trigger button I'm triggering the playbacks and I can see the lights are triggering fine the pyro is fine 
So the lights are triggering fine. Hope this video was useful to you. Hope this also clarifies to majority of people who had doubts uh, in the latest version and the CAMSYS and what was causing the problem. In addition to this, if you happen to have any other concerns, do let me know via comment section. See you all soon on another video. Do subscribe to the channel. Do share it to your friends and family who would be interested to learn basics of DMX lighting and concepts of virtual production. I am Raj Shekhar, signing out. Bye.